Hey guys, Jason. And here recently, if you don't follow me on Twitter, you probably don't know, I've been getting a lot into mining. Now, before I try this, about January of 2012, I tried this with my father. We were going to build a computer. And it just so happens that we got a defective motherboard, and the motherboard caught on fire. It was no fault of our own, just a manufacturer default. So we sent the, everything back, and we kind of never really wanted to really experiment anymore because the fear of, you know, burning down a house or something. So we started getting into, you know, crypto stocks and crypto coins, and that's kind of where all my knowledge base has been, you know, kind of expanding from. I've still kind of kept in line with, you know, what's new with miners, you know, the new FPGA, the ASIC board for Bitcoin and stuff, and then, you know, the new GPUs and stuff that come out with the script coins. But I haven't really been mining, and it's kind of been a passion of mine to always want to mine, to always be, you know, kind of that um, unseen force, you know, help promoting the blockchain by using your computer. So for Christmas, I got a new computer, which is going to be a sweet editing computer. It's going to be great for editing new videos and getting more videos out for you guys in 2014. But I was able to have an old computer now that I took all the data off of, did a fresh reinstall of Windows 7, and now I have a computer. So what I did is I went out on Amazon and I bought a 600 watt PSU, which actually I paid a higher um, price for it, but I wanted to get a really high certification level PSU. In case I ever you know, decided I wanted to add more GPUs to the system, I wanted it to be able to support a high wattage, but I also wanted it to be you know, reliable and you know, not break down after a year or so, you know, to be able to continue on its pace. And I also bought, you know, it, it's a lower end GPU, but it's still really nice, a R9-270X. And this thing is a beast. I'm, I'll be honest. I literally, and this might sound really stupid, but I literally went on Amazon. I said, I, I have about $200 to spend on a GPU. And so I typed it in on Amazon, you know, gave it a range. And this was the first thing that came up. I was like, okay, I'll try it out. And I, I looked it up and it was getting like 375, 400 kill hashes on the, you know, script coins. Because obviously you're not going to be using, you know, SHA-256 to be mined with a GPU. You know what I mean? So, it seemed like a good card. I'm actually getting anywhere, and this is crazy. While the reader over here says I'm getting about, you know, 397 kilo hashes with a certain, you know, setup config file, I've been really getting anywhere between 290 and 560. Now, that's what the pool is reporting. So, it could be off, it could be, a, you know, malfunction in the pool. But I've tried over 12 pools, and they all kind of give me the same response for, you know, a variance of different coins. So, I think, you know, it's just a, it's a range. It could be a heat factor. I'm still, you know, learning precisely how to config a miner. But it's pretty sweet. You know, I got 8 gigs of RAM in this system. You know, back in the day, I got it um, my freshman year, um, freshman Christmas. And it's kind of been a computer that's always been with me. And, you know, it's held up really well. Now, one of the things I know a lot of people talk about is, you know, should it be an open system? And yes, eventually, you know, you notice I had, the, I had the top of the case off and I have it open. And you might wonder why I had this sitting up on a white table. Basically, I'm testing it out. I've been running different config files. I've been running different things because I want to see, you know, what's the ideal settings. And also, I'm eventually going to set it down in a room downstairs. I want to make sure, you know, it's not going to catch fire. And I want to make sure there's enough coolants to keep the entire system cool. So it's really cool. It's a wind force, which is a really sweet, sick type of system. For it's a GPU, if you don't know. It has three fans. It actually stays pretty cool. One of the things I love, though, if you put your and I know you're not supposed to do this, but if you put your fingers right here, it's so warm. Like you instantly grab like 10 degrees. It's reporting right now at 61 degrees Celsius, which I don't know what the Fahrenheit, you know, difference is, but it's 61 degrees Fahrenheit, Celsius, which I know. I think, what is it, 20 degrees Celsius is room temperature or something, so it has to be pretty warm. It, it's just crazy. Now, the system is running about 220 watts right now, so the GPU is really not pulling that much power because the computer itself in idle mode uses about 100 watts. So it, it's a pretty slick system. You know, I really like it. I know you could really do a bare bone system, but I know a lot of people message me, man, I'd really like to get into mining, you know, because I've been tweeting about it too. And I go, you know, but I don't have a lot of money, and... I don't, I really, you know, it's really hard to buy in these coins right now. And I agree, you know, sometimes financially it's hard because you have to link a bank account, you have to go through PayPal, you have to go through a lot of sketchy means, or the more official means, it's more contoured to the first world citizens, or, you know, people that have access to social security number and to a bank account easily available. And this is a system, a type of way that you can get into, you know, Bitcoin or any of the cryptologies without having to do, you know, a direct bank transfer or um, one of those types of means. And it's really great. So really, you know, if you're talking about it, you really only need about 4 gigs of RAM is what they recommend for a system of this caliber. Just amazing though. So, I mean, you could go with a lower end GPU. I mean, I could have easily went with probably a 300 watt easily and it for like 50 bucks, 40 bucks. I think 
Heck, you can get like 300 watt for like 30 bucks now on Amazon. And you don't want to get the best because, you know, if you're just doing it for fun, what's the big deal? You know what I mean? I think this one came modeled with um, 250 watts. So obviously it'd be very close and it'd be kind of risky to run full, you know, force with such a low variance between the actual usage and the actual output of the PSU. But it's a great system. I really like it. People have been asking me, you know, what kind of, you know, what should I get into? Well, guys, if you're, if you're looking into it, and this is what I talk about with people, you know, a lot of people think, well, I mean, I can't mine. Yeah, you can. Because here's the thing. Most computers come with about 50 watt variance in their systems. Unless you get a really stripped down computer where it's like, HP or Dell that they sell at like Best Buy or whatever really wants to make a very high profit and they really minimize everything inside the system. You know, you normally you have about 50 watts of variance, and you can get a you know a PS. I think it's PCI X. I think all graphic cards basically that are high intensity run on X16s. I have two X1s and one X16, so obviously I can only fit one X16 without an expander or anything. But it's a great system. It's really interesting. If you see, it's mining in here in the background. I'm gonna go into detail in the next few videos, talking about how I build it and more, you know, in depth. But you know, a lot of people mass messaged me, you know, saying, "Man, I'd like to get a mining, but I don't think I can." And I want to tell you, you know, you can. It, you know, it's not that you have to buy a new computer. You, you don't. You know, you could easily, you know, strap in a new GPU. You know, maybe a hundred dollar GPU into your system, and that hundred, you know, dollar GPU might not pull, you know, max power from your PSU. So therefore, you don't have to buy a new PSU. You don't have to buy a new RAM. You don't have to buy a new, you know, G CPU. You don't have to buy anything new but the GPU. So really, for a hundred dollar investment, you know, you can kind of get into it. Now, I will warn you that you know, when you buy a lower end GPU, you are not going to get the you know the hash rate that you would with a higher end GPU. So you're not going to make as quick returns, which to some people is an issue. To some people like myself, it's just more just to get in an excitement. Another big thing people talk about. I remember back in the day when Litecoin was worth three dollars, and all these people were saying, "Oh man, I can't mine Litecoin; it's not profitable." And you know, it blows me away because if you would have kept mining, even when it was unprofitable, electricity-wise, now when it's fifteen dollars Litecoin, you would have made a profit. Sometimes it's just like investments. You know, you make you, you might say, "Well, man, I can buy this at coin at you know twenty cents right now," and it, I don't think it's going to go up for the next three months. But guess what? In three months or in a year, if it's worth a dollar, you still made a profit. It's the same way with mining. Again, it's your opinion, it's your decision, but I think it's really interesting. I'm going to do some videos about mining because I've been getting a lot of requests and it's a really interesting thing. Hey guys, have a great day. Today's January 1st, 2014, and expect a video every day this year.